Hey everyone, before the video, I just want to draw your attention real quick to the All Things Nerd membership channel. Um, I've introduced memberships to the channel, and uh, you can get it for $2.99 a month. You get exclusive emojis, titles, and uh, you get photos and status updates, early access to OOB content, you get reply uh, priority reply to comments, and you actually get access to a special chat in the Discord, in the ATN Discord, where it's for members only, where I'll be sharing early sneak peeks of videos and photos and whatever else you guys want to share in there. So it's just another way you can support the channel. It's only $2.99 a month, and I already have four members, so thank you to those members who have already joined. And uh, yeah, if you decide to join in the future, I would love to have you. Thanks. Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Because Miss the Pandaria Remix is currently out, I'm going to be basing the next couple of videos in Pandaria. And today's adventure leads us to the Mogu Shun Vaults, where the raid. Now, um, you guys saw the video in the beginning. Uh, I'm going to be offering more things in the membership. So if you'd like to sign up and join and be an ATN member, I'm going to give you all the meaty parts of the videos. If you want to learn how to escape things, if you want to know some tips and tricks, join it. And uh, yeah, but we're already out of Mogashun Volts. This OOB goes full credit to True Hero as he was the one to discover it. He's allowing me to use his trick to get out. And so we want to say thank you to him. Now, let's get right to the video and let's go explore. So... We have escaped out of Mogu Shun Volts. And uh, let's go take a look around. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When you escape out here, you're going to want to hug the right side. Because all of this down here is all death. You're going to hit death walls. So you got to be careful while you're exploring here. Now, you can climb the mountains. There is no death walls up there from what I've found. Uh, but, yeah. So let's go out this way. And let's go take a look around. Now, we do want to be careful in the central part. Like I said, you will die. So, we're going to make our way over here. We're going to go see some beautiful sightseeing of the waterfalls. Let's go jump here and check this out. Now, they do keep a lot of the raid outside. So, which I'm very impressed. You know, because you do come out through this outer part here. And you get some beautiful views of the skybox and the temple above. And you can kind of get the beautiful waterfall stuff going on here. But we're going to take a screenshot here. Because that is a beautiful place there. And we're going to keep making our way along the mountains over here. So let's go continue right side. And like I said, we're going to want to stick to the right side. As the other side is death from what I know so far. So don't go down there in that area. You will die. Now, we may discover some new death walls because I haven't fully explored this raid yet. I've only explored a little bit of it. Like one other time I came out here with Hero. And uh, as you can tell, it's going to be a lot of mountain climbing in here. So just be prepared to do the uh, mountainous part. So if you enjoy doing OOB, but you like doing more of the climbing and stuff, this is definitely for you as you can get some awesome climbing in and being able to use the Demon Hunter's kit to a full extent. So... Now, as we look, uh, the entrance to the raid is actually right over here. I don't know if that's the end. I think that's the entrance, actually. I would like to get up there and show you guys. So I'll climb up there and I'll cut the video because you don't want to watch you climb all the way up there. So I will definitely uh, edit that. But as we come down here, you're going to see a cool platform. And I believe you can walk on this without dying. Yeah, you can. So they do keep a lot of this out here. The music did stop and change. It's kind of eerie. But as we go back out, the music should start up again. There we go. And uh, you get a good part of uh, Pandaria outside of here. Now where we're currently at outside of the raid is uh, we are in the Veil of the Eternal Blossoms. Well, actually, no, we're not in the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. What? Why is it saying... Interesting. Huh. You know, that's really strange because, actually, this raid is located in Kun Lao's Summit, but we're saying we're in the Veil of the Eternal Blossoms. Why is that? I'm very confused now. So I wonder if this raid is actually located 
in the uh huh the siege of Ogremar maybe and they share the same space or am i just being dumb and we're actually in the veil of eternal blossoms i don't know maybe someone can explain that i'm very confused about that because we're technically not in the eternal blossoms which i never noticed that being out here so that's something new too we're supposed to be in Kowalong Summit on the back side over here. So why we're all the way down here, I have no idea. So maybe someone can explain, but let's continue here. Ah, uh, you know, uh, Miss of Pandaria is some of my favorite OOBs to do because not only is it beautiful outside, but the views are just breathtaking. You know, I thought Blizzard did a great job with the architecture and everything out here. And I love seeing all the, uh, I don't know. Just the uh, OOB sites that we get. I think it's really neat. Uh, we're not going to make it up here. Oop. Okay. It's okay. We can fell rush. There we go. All right. I want to give you guys a view of this backside of this raid here. And look at that. Isn't that just amazing? That's screenshot worthy right there. Let's keep making our way out to the right side here. And as you can tell, there's nothing down below. It looks like there's an empty building space that was supposed to be something here. But let's go check out on the right side first, and I can show you guys what's out here. Now, unfortunately, because we're in a raid outside, um, we can't actually mount up right here. Uh, well, some raids you can mount up, right? But here, for whatever reason, they don't let you mount up. So maybe we can find a place where we can ride our mount, but we're just going to have to walk and go up some of the mountains just manually unfortunately all right let's make our way over here and uh, i can give you guys a back side of this dungeon here you can see there's a part of the map that was cut off so there is the edge of the world right there so if you try to go out there you will get stuck so just a forewarning um, but there's not too much actually back there. And you can swim in the water, by the way. So just a heads up. If you guys are wondering, yes, you can swim. Because I know a lot of times I always say avoid water and OOBs. But this one you can swim. So let's go fly out this way and see what we can find. A lot of mountainous area in this one. And we're going to make our way out this way. We're going to go jump in the water. Because we can swim out here. And let's go see what's on this island over here. Now, I don't think we can use an underwater mount. Yeah, because technically we're never supposed to mount up in the raid. So maybe we can find a spot outside where we can mount up. But we're just going to have to keep walking on foot here. But as you guys can tell, we're always already coming up to the edge of the world. So there is the edge right there. And they do keep this lonely island out here. Thank you everybody who tuned into the last video. Uh, on Exile's Reach where we broke out of um, Dark Mall Citadel. That was a lot of fun. We found the unused early versions of um, exile reach out in the distance so someone gave me good advice when i do videos that normally i can't play a demon hunter make a rogue and just level up so i can use the hook shot and get to places where i can't normally get to i didn't think about that that's actually a really good idea and next time i will make sure to do that um i haven't really done too much oob with a rogue yet so i'll definitely have to do that but they are very useful as well so here's the edge of the world as you can tell, a really cool shot here. I don't want to fall inside because we will DC and get stuck. So that's basically what's out on the right side of the dungeon. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go make my way back that way. I'm going to climb the mountain and get up here and show you guys the temple views and all that. So um, I will be right back. Hey everyone, real quick, before we go up the mountain and explore up there... I want to show you something very interesting uh, down in the valley here. Now, as you're walking along the pass down here, obviously there's death walls and stuff, so we got to be careful. But if you come over this little mountain, there's actually an active 
NPC that you can interact with over here and fight if you want to. It's one of the core thick bugs out here in the middle of nowhere. Just standing out here. Now why he's out here, I have no idea. But yeah, just a random NPC hanging out. And an OOB that you can actually fight. And uh, in other Miss Pandaria OOBs, there's actually a lot of them like this. So why they chose OOBs and Miss the Pandaria to have active NPCs outside the map that you can fight, I have no idea. But I just thought that was very neat. So yeah, he's here. You can kill him if you want to. I think. Oh, maybe not. Okay. I thought you could. It's too far away. But what's interesting, yeah, he just chills out here. So which I thought was pretty funny. All right, guys, we're back real quick. Uh, I want to give you some footage of me doing uh, the OOB part of OOB. Uh, I want to show you guys just a little bit of what I have to deal with sometimes <laughs> when dealing with these type of videos, because not only does OOB take time, but it takes some effort because you got to climb. And as you can see here, this actually is a waterfall usually, but because there's no water in the out of bounds up here on the mountain, it's all empty, which I thought was kind of neat to look at. But I want to show you guys a little bit of me scaling the video and climbing and excuse me, I keep sneezing. All right, so I'm going to climb a little bit and then I'll be back at the top. All right, guys, we officially got back up the mountain. So whew, that took a while to do. Be careful doing this OOB. It takes some time. Um, now, I've never actually been up here. So this is all going to be brand new for me too to see. Unless you guys have been up here. There is a ton of mountain to scale. So just be weary when you're climbing up here. It takes a lot of maneuvering, a lot of tricks, and uh, you have to use the full Demon Hunter kit. So as we come up here, there is a... Uh, a uh, side of the mountain that is the guy look at that mass how creepy is that a creepy like dragon looking thing it's like a face staring at you <laughs> i just noticed that all right so there is this on the side of the cliff here and there is a fully rendered home that i believe we can walk in yep and the music does change there's nothing inside of here so let's go out this way and let's go keep taking a look and see what we can find. Now, we're going to have to do some more OOB and maneuvering here, unfortunately, because we need to. I want to get up here to the temple and show you guys what's up there. So I'm going to go work my way back up here and uh, I'll be right back again. 
All right, guys, we are officially back again, and we have officially made it to the temple on top of the mountain. This is very exciting. It took a little bit of manipulation to get up here with the Demon Hunter kit, uh, but it took a minute as we had to do a lot of climbing and flying and all that. Now, I don't know if there's any death walls up here or not, but what's really neat is they do recognize that you are up here. So if you enter temple here, it will show you you're in the Temple of the White Tiger. You can't actually go in, unfortunately. But you can kind of get some good views over here. I do love the music and the atmosphere up here as well. We're going to do some first person jump in here. Here goes the front of the temple. So it is fully modeled from the outside. I don't know the inside. What it looks like but i don't think normally you can go inside here anyways even on the normal map right i mean maybe someone can correct me there goes the azeroth moon in the distance remember azeroth's moon is blue so it's pretty neat that they do keep a lot up here now i do want to get up over here because i think there's a lot more that way that we can go see so let's go head out that way and let's go take a look and see what we can find in the back side here. What we can do is we can fly out this way. I was trying to aim for that way, but I kind of failed. So let's go climb some of the mountains over here and let's go take a look on what's on the back side. Now they do keep a nice little trail here, but it does cut off to the edge of the world here. I love the skyboxes and and area. I love the clouds. They're so cartoony. So I don't know. I thought that was always kind of fun to see. Alright, let's go make our way up the mountains here. Now, unfortunately, we still can't mount up. So that kind of sucks. But we can still go up here. And we can see over here and let's go make our way up here i do want to see if we can find the entrance to the raid because it is over here somewhere but we're going to be careful going up here because i don't want to fall back down again because uh it is kind of a pain to get up here but we're going to be careful where we're walking here if we do feel like we're going to be falling off we're not going to go that way so let's head back this way and stay in the safety ness of this oob All right, we're gonna have to do some manipulation here around the mountains. I think we should be okay to walk up this way. It's not super flat at all, but I think we can, once our other second charge of fell rush is up, we can just make our way. There we go. And so you, as you can tell, they do keep the other path back here. Isn't that a cool view? All right, let's keep making our way out this way. And look at all that. So, the only thing is, we gotta be careful because I don't know exactly where we're at on the map. So I don't know how much of this is the raid. So I don't wanna jump and clip back into the map. That makes sense. Cause I've done that on other videos and that really sucks. <laughs> but I think most of this raid is actually inside the mountain here. So I think we should be okay, even if we jump down there. So, but yeah, as you can tell, they do keep, let's see. Yeah, I think we should be okay. So everything is empty here. But I don't think we're actually going to hit inside because I think the raid is inside the mountains here. So I think we should be good. But let's get a cool view up here on top of the mountain. As we're going to get an awesome view of the whole raid here. Look at that. So that's where we came from over here. And this is where we scaled up to. So whew, a lot of work does pay off though. So it's pretty neat to be able to come up all the way up here. Now I have been looking for the entrance of the raid. And I haven't found it yet. Normally it's on side of the hill here. Uh, and that actually might be it right here, actually. Uh, 
No, actually, that's where... Never mind. That's where we came from. So that actually is where we broke out of earlier. Uh, so we're going to keep going out this way. And I don't see the entrance to the raid yet. Normally it's on the side of the mountain here. But I don't see it, so let's go make our way out this way. And let's keep scaling some of these mountains here. See if we can get on the very top. Also being careful as well. There we go. They do keep uh, nothing really up here. As you can see, it's just really snowy mountains. But it's kind of neat to see everything that's usually up here that's gone from all the architecture and all that. So, you know, I don't know. Oh, okay. So that is part of the raid right here below us. So we do got to be careful. I don't want to walk that way. I'm afraid we might clip back into bounds. So let's go walk towards this way. As you can tell, this is the... Elegon resides. Elgon. Ooh, we can get another cool view up here. But we do got to go make our way to the top of the mountain. Oh. Oh. We're getting stopped. Why? Oh, okay. We got to be careful. I'm hitting a wall there. I don't want to jump in there. I think that might bring us back into bounds, maybe? So let's actually go fly over here. Maybe? I don't know. I felt like we were hitting something. It wouldn't let me jump up. So I don't know if maybe that's outside the map there or it back inside. I don't know. As you guys can tell, not too much out here on top of the mountain, but it is really neat that they keep all of this. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to get up here all the way. Oh, see, we're getting stopped again. Why is that? Where are we? Look at it. It stops me. I can't keep going up. I'm afraid to jump in there. So, uh, let's go back this way. And I want to find the entrance to the raid. I haven't found that yet. Usually it's on the side of the... Over here. So, it has to be somewhere back towards the this area. It's on the side of the mountain, you know. Let's go out this way. I might be able to actually see back inside the raid. Let's see. What's over here? There's a big cloud of smoke going on. Oh, that's a weird view. Look at that. Like this giant smoke. And then you have these little clouds that are kind of just chilling in the background there. So that's kind of random. I don't know what that's all about. There goes the edge of the world, though. Hmm. I don't know where this raid entrance is. Maybe they actually don't have it. What I'm assuming is uh, the raid entrance doesn't actually exist out here. Because if, when you go into the raid, if you remember, you're actually kind of already inside the vault. So I don't think there's actually a way to get back out. Um, if that makes sense. So you're actually already inside of the, the raid itself. So I don't think there's actually a way to get to the actual entrance meeting with the meeting stone and all that outside. So, anyways guys, this is Mogoshan Vaults. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And, uh, as always, I'll be making future content. I'm going to be leaving on vacation here uh, on May 29th. I'll be gone through June 7th, I believe. So I'm going to be gone for about 10 days, but I do have videos scheduled to 
come out um, while I'm gone. And so definitely look forward to those and we'll continue our Miss the Pandaria exploration. So anyways, guys, my name is Nathan. Take care.